about our very good God who loves and cares for us. It's called Clap Your Hands. Now I'm sure you already know how to clap your hands, but just in case you don't, you take one hand and the other hand and you hit them together and they make a sound like this. Hang on. That's not right. Oh, there we go. Okay, how about you clap along with me? Hey kids, I'm so excited to bring you the talk today. And so for the first three weeks of this term, we're gonna be looking at this idea of celebrate. Now the Bible is filled with celebration and the Bible is actually written with different types of styles, different types of writing. And today we're gonna to be looking at the Psalms. And the Psalms are filled with beautiful writing of poetry, of songs. And you know what, poetry is really beautiful. But sometimes it's really hard to understand. And so we actually need God to help us understand this psalm. So why don't we pray together? Ready? One, two, three. Father God, we ask that you might help us understand this psalm so that we might know you and know who you are so much better. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Now, if you've got a Bible, maybe you want to pause the video and flip to Psalm 117. And Psalm 117 reads... All you nations, praise the Lord. All you people on earth, praise him. Great is his love for us. The Lord is faithful forever. Praise the Lord. This is one of the shorter Psalms, but it actually shows something really big and great. Now let's look at the first verse. It says, all you nations, praise the Lord. All you people on earth, praise him. Do you see, the psalmist is actually calling everyone people who don't love Jesus, people who love Jesus, people of all nations, all countries, to praise him. Now I want you to think of a world map. I want you to think how many nations on that map actually praise him. It's all of them. All of them are called to praise him. And I want, want you to ask yourself, why is that? Why, why should all the nations, even the ones that don't believe in Jesus, why should they praise him? Well, it's because God is the forever God. God is the God who's the creator of everything. God created you. He created me. He took the Israelites of the Old Testament and saved them from slavery, from Egypt. He's taken our sin and our death away. Even in a tricky circumstance when people didn't trust him, he kept on showing that he was faithful. Now let's look at verse 2. What does it say? Great is his love. The Lord is faithful forever. Do you know what? God continually shows that he is faithful to his people. Even though the people said, no, I don't want to follow you, Jesus. He is still faithful. 
This psalm demonstrates that. And so when we pray this psalm, when we praise and sing this psalm, we actually recognize, God, you are the great God. God, you are a good God. That even in tricky circumstances, you are loving and you are faithful. And the thing is, sometimes for me even in this season, it might be easy for you to go, now nah, God, you're not loving, you're not faithful. Why is it that there are people who are sad? Why are there people who are scared? Why are there people who are sick? Do you know what this psalm says? The psalm helps us remind us of what God has done to us, that God is that loving and faithful God, that we are called to praise him, not just because we're called to, but he's demonstrated why. Now, the question I have for you is, what is praise? Well, really quickly, praise is simply saying, God, you are awesome. God, you are amazing. God, you are so, so, so good. God, even when I'm feeling, my emotions are feeling, it's really hard, I can say, God, you are the God who is in control and created me and he loves me dearly. That's what praise is. And so my, my question for you is, do you praise him? Do you praise him just at kids' church? Do you just praise him at church on a Sunday when you're worshipping with your family? Do you praise him during the week, day by day, at school, at home, in your bedroom when no one's looking? Do you praise him? Do you recognise God is the God who created you? Well, I want to quickly pray for us because sometimes it's really hard to do that. And I, I want to say that even for me, it's been hard to do in this season. But do you know what God's promise is? His spirit is working in us to help us sing out loud that Christ is Lord. So why don't I pray for us? And then what I want to see you do is maybe with your parents, you can go through the discussion questions. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three. Father God, we thank you so much for your word, that it tells us that you are a good God, that you created everything, the heavens and the earth. So we ask that you might help us know that and know that because of the gospel, we know that you love us and that you care for us. And that's all demonstrated in Christ. So we pray that we might praise you day by day, week by week, at school, at home, so that we might glorify you and give all the glory that you deserve. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, kids, go off and chat with your parents and process what does it look like to celebrate. Bye.